In stressful times, many of us want to be around those we love. But Senator Maggie Hassan has decided instead not to come back to New Hampshire and stay in Washington instead to avoid potentially exposing her son, Ben, to COVID-19. He's a great young man, but he has cerebral palsy and a compromised respiratory system. A bout of pneumonia two years ago required surgery and intensive care. For Ben, coronavirus could be devastating. To me, this whole issue of social distancing is about much more than just making sure each of us doesn't get the virus. It's about unknowingly transmitting the virus to somebody who's at really high risk, like my son, Ben. Hassan says those most at risk could require multiple health care providers and expensive specialized treatment that could overwhelm the medical system at a time when supplies are limited. We are seeing in New Hampshire, uh, our health care professionals are asking for contributions, yeah. donations of personal protective gear. That's unacceptable. It's especially unacceptable in our country. Hassan is pushing for President Trump to implement the Defense Production Act he invoked this week. We have manufacturers who are slowing production. We have workers who want to be on the front lines and help. And she says when you think of social distancing, think of those most at risk, like her son Ben. And Hassan says it's important for everybody to keep their distance from each other and cancel plans to be in large groups for now.